Hey guys, welcome back to Ben On Demand, and I'm back with part two on how to build a one product drop shipping store. Go, 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 go. You ain't gonna come in here after Whoa. six months saying you're gonna do a part two. We've been waiting half a year, bro. I bought me a new laptop. Well, it ain't that new, but I bought a new laptop and everything ready to learn, man. We ready to learn. You're supposed to be bent on demand. I demand you to do a better job, bro. How, how did you get in here? Job. Who are you? Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about who, who are I am. You? Don't worry about it. Just do your job, I understand bro. you purchased a new laptop and everything. Like, I got an idea. I got a better idea. Do that, then. Do that. I'm going to be on the laptop watching you. I'm going to be on the laptop watching you, bro. We're going to do a how to build together. a single product print on demand store. And we're going to do it all in one take, guys. We're going to do the whole video. It's going to be kind of long, but I'm going to give you what you need. I know you guys have been waiting for this. There go, door. Why are you slamming my door, man? <laughs> I know you guys have been waiting for this for a while. But, yeah, let's go. I'm going to cover everything so you don't have to wait all in one go. Let's get it. Alright, let's get started. So before we get going here guys, I just want you to make sure you smash the like button on this video, leave a comment, share this video with the world, click on the bell icon so you'll get notified on all the upcoming videos and I may have some more contests coming up here pretty soon so you don't want to miss that. But no more wasting time here, let's get started and what we're going to do is build a one product but it could you could use more products but we're gonna build a one product e-commerce store that we're gonna be creating a print on demand product all right and if you're not familiar with what print on demand is that that basically means you are creating a product that you're gonna be printing on but you don't actually physically have to touch the product so We'll get down to you know some of the services that you can use. It can be anywhere from a t-shirt to a, a bag or even like coffee mugs. You can use that as a print on demand. So it's kind of like drop shipping, but you're the one that designed the product. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do here is let's figure out. I'm going to do it on the flyer. As you can see, this is a blank WordPress page here, guys. I'm going to show you how to build the site for it. I'm going to show you how to do some research to figure out, you know, uh, what domain name to pick and everything. So we're going to get started with that. So let's first, before we purchase a domain, let's take a look here on what type of product or what type of artwork is available. So this is a, a good site to come to. This is freepick.com. Um, I know you guys can see it here in the browser, but uh, this is uh, kind of what I go to for like inspirations and, you know, kind of figure it out. So even like right here on the home page, say if you wanted to do, <laughs> if you wanted to do uh, a shirt that was based around like coffee or something like that, all of the artwork that's on this page is, is free and basically there's no royalties attached to the image but i would still not copy it <laughs> one for one guys you want to go ahead and grab the image modify it tweak it or even just use it as a reference to kind of inspire you on you know what you're going to be designing for your product so let's get started here let's search i know for a fact okay let me move this out of the way guys all right i know for a fact people love their dogs or animals for that for that matter so we're gonna search let me see let's see what comes up here okay awesome 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 oh that's a beautiful french bulldog well i think that's a bulldog it looks like a boston terrier a little bit but that's a french bulldog but um you don't want to use photographs guys unless you know how to vectorize those or whatever so i'm gonna take a look at these dogs here what do we have well, that's a cute corgi right? I think it's a corgi Dotson so yeah let's grab this one and we're gonna scroll through here just do free download and you definitely if you're gonna be doing the free download you want to attribute who the artwork came from but if you're modifying it guys there's a little gray area there if you're modifying it and make it your own then you are the owner of that artwork okay 
So what you can do here, you can actually come in and like copy the image. And let's just paste this over here, guys. All right, we're just gonna hold that for a minute and let's go ahead and see what other items came up here for dogs. Let's just take a look. Oh, that's another cute Corgi. Hmm. Maybe we could do something even more specific to the Corgi breed of dogs because I know they're a popular breed. And anytime you can kind of really drill in on a niche for any product or any website for that matter, if you can really own that niche, then that's a lot of a lot of power in that guys. It's a lot of power in owning the niche. So let's just focus on let's just focus on corgis for right now. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get this and kind of build my little oh let me see. Kind of build up my little corgi library here. Just to kind of give me some inspiration on what type of t-shirt I want to do. So yeah, I'm gonna just focus on t-shirt, uh, well, a t-shirt for this example here. And let, let's just drill it down to the corgis. I believe that's how you spell it. All right. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome one right here. Little beans. All right. Um, oh, I like that one too. All right, so yeah, we'll just copy these three for right now. All right, and now that we are focusing on a Corgi base apparel, <laughs> apparel website, and again, we're just doing one product, guys, just to keep it simple. And like, literally, you can make a crazy amount of money just by really selecting the perfect single product um i'm sure you can uh kind of go through youtube on um and, and take a look at some of the other uh single site products that are selling like crazy but people are making like six seven figures off of one product so if you're designer the, the designer of the product that's even better a better position for you to be in so yeah it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff to go in and take a look at so Let's jump over to doing a domain research. So we know now that we want to create a t-shirt and probably more products down the line, but we're gonna create a t-shirt that's gonna be based around Corgi. So the next thing you want to do is determine what type of domain would be reflective of that type of brand or that type of apparel. So I'll go over to the handy dandy name mesh dot com. All right. And what you'll want to do here is type in like any term. We can just say, uh, OK, we're doing Corgi, right? Oh, let's see, R -G -I. And let's just say T-shirt. and generate and obviously an ad is going to pop up okay let's close let's close the ad and okay yeah so it shows you all the different combinations of the two names that you or the two words that you put into the search so oh wow so corgi t-shirt.com is actually available um i don't know if i want to narrow it down to corgi t-shirt but i may still grab that domain we'll see so corgi t-shirt.com is available let's go ahead and do Hmm. let's make a list here guys all right so I'm gonna just pull up my text editor and create some notes here all right so corgi t-shirt.com is available let's see let's check out Corgi wear. Hmm. So yeah, <laughs> and you see here, it only shows you the .net, 
because that's all that uh, is available. The dot com is taken. So and it'll, it'll give you some pretty good suggestions. So I can really just do Corgi by itself to see what comes up. And if you scroll, I learned this uh, using the site. If you scroll, it'll actually start generating more names. So you can kind of like scroll down. Let's see. All right. So these are the SEO friendly ones according to Name Mash. So we Corgi, best Corgi. So it just kind of appends or uh, prefaces the, uh, the term that you uh, are searching and it'll create a list of names for you so all right let's see very corgi wow okay um well for the sake of this tutorial let's just do corgi t-shirt and what i do here is i normally go to, to namecheap.com i really prefer them over any other domain registrar just because it's simple they don't push a bunch of ads to you and all of that so let's just double check to make sure corgi t-shirt is available here it should be because i saw it on the other site but dot com all right yeah so sometimes they'll try to uh suggest uh domain extensions that kind of relate to the term that you're searching so if you don't put dot com after the domain it's going to suggest something that's close to it but i never knew they even had a dot dog t uh domain all right so let's go ahead and add that to the cart and i'll check out <laughs> i'll check out on this later so you guys don't steal my credit card information so um let's jump over to the designs guys let's um <laughs> this one is crazy. All right, so let's just figure out what type of t-shirt do we want. I really like this corgi right here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. All right, so let me see. I'm going to take the background out here. I don't admit to be the best Photoshop designer, but I'm good enough to be dangerous, guys. All right, so just create a new file. Zoom in. I don't know if I want that in there. All right. And what you can do, you definitely don't want to zoom in and have it all pixelated like that so what you can do is do this I'm gonna save it as a PNG with no background let's save this in my documents save it as a PNG when you do a PNG I'm sure you know already it it saves it without the background so Let's do that and then we can go to, I have another program called Vector Magic. I'm giving you guys all the secrets guys. This is all the secrets. All right. So um, from Vector Magic, looks like let's open import from folder. Let's go to documents and let's pull that in. And what this does, it'll actually turn a PNG into a vectorized image, meaning that you can scale it up without pixelation. So, and pixelation basically means that uh, the distortion that you get when you stretch out a picture that isn't a vector. So, we'll get rid of that just by using this program. All right, so I just use all the default settings and go through it. It should smooth everything out. As you can see now, it has like the the pixelated edges but when I click this next step it should smooth all of that out Let's give it a minute yeah there we go that looks good alright so 
let's see all right I am going to export this as a large PNG. Let's go ahead and say 2000 pixels for the width. All right, let's go ahead and save that. And again, guys, I'm not really gonna sell this product because you definitely wanna go through a few more steps to kind of modify this and really make it your own, but I'm just using this as an example. So when you're making a t-shirt, you kinda wanna you know tweak it a little bit more. So. All right, so we've saved that. So let's pull this back into Photoshop. Should be a vector file here. Yep. All right, so it's a lot larger. Yeah, there we go. Stretch this out a little bit so we can get us a good little design. Good little design going here. All right. Um. And let's just say we'll do, we will do a custom shape. Let's put a heart in here, guys. Obviously the heart has to be red. Let's put some text down here. Oh, you yeah, maybe we'll just say Let's find a better font here, guys. One second. see what this looks like let me scale it up a little bit let me see the placement here yeah you want to play around with it some just so you can kind of see Hold on me. so you can kind of see you know how it would appear on a t-shirt Actually, this may be a bit redundant. I don't even think we need. <laughs> I don't even think we need that. So let's just do. Um, okay, for the sake of this demo, let's just do heart and the corgi dog. All right. Because I know you guys didn't come here to watch me slam on keys and try to figure out Photoshop. So let's go ahead and save this as our image. T-shirt. All right. Okay, so we'll use this as our uh, image. And actually, um, let me scale this down a little bit because we'll actually use this as the logo for the website as well. All right. All right, image size. Let's go ahead and say, call it. 500 oh don't want to save it as that we want to do another PNG all right corgi logo this will be for the website all right, so in the next section here, we're going to go ahead go ahead and set up WordPress. And this is going to be super simple the way I set this up, guys. And I understand not everybody is a software engineer or even a web developer or anything like that. So I'm going to do it in a way as if I'm showing my mom how to do this. It's going to be super easy. So 
Don't feel as though this is insulting your intelligence. If you already know how to build websites, you can skip over to the actual e-commerce part or whatever section that's more important to you. But I'm going to deliver this as smooth and as simple as possible. So let's jump over to the web development. All right. All right, so here is the fun part, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started with modifying the website to get it to support our product. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the dashboard. And again, this is just a, a blank WordPress installation. I'm not going to go through how to install WordPress. This is kind of beyond the scope of this video, but just go ahead and install WordPress. And by default, it'll have this all of the stuff that's currently in here. I haven't installed anything at all. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is install one of my favorite free themes and it is called, let's do it at, it's called ocean W look, I didn't even have to type it <laughs> ocean WP. I really like this theme. It's a, uh, it's a free one and it has a lot of features for it to be a free theme. All right, let's give it a second for that to install. Um, so yeah, this theme uses Elementor uh, Visual Editor. So it makes it really easy for uh, anybody that doesn't know how to program to go ahead and get up and running. So I've had big clients that I actually, uh, that wanted to be able to maintain their own website. So I've built like huge websites with Elementor and like created my own custom theme layouts and everything and gave that to them to maintain and they love it. So I know if it's a theme that already supports Elementor, you guys are going to love it too. All right. So let me activate this theme and let's go ahead and so right here, once you install the uh, Ocean WP uh, plugin, it'll tell you it's other plugins that is, I'm sorry, once you install the Ocean WP theme, it'll tell you that it has plugins that is recommended to be installed along with the theme. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm going to click on this to show you what they're saying you should install. Well, actually, let's go ahead and click this. All right, well, I guess they actually packaged it all, all in one. So this is the uh, Ocean Extra, and I think it's going to install uh, it's going to install everything that we need here. Let me just double check. So this is the newer version of it. Let's just see what plugins they installed here. Oh, okay, they all have it all packaged here. Let's just take a quick look on the front end. One second. All right, so yeah, this is how the theme looks. Let's just add a page here really quick, guys. All right, yeah, it didn't install Elementor, so let me go back to the admin, WP admin. All right, so let's go ahead to plugins and let's do add new. Let's see. There we go. All right, so we want to install Elementor Well. I'm sorry, Well, <laughs> Elementor uh, Website Builder. So let's install that, and you'll see why we want to do this. Okay, let's do activate. And I'll just give you a quick demo of how this worked. All right, we can skip all of that. All right, let's do, let's just add a new page here, guys. All right, let's just name it home here. And we're not going to put anything here. Let's just publish it. Yep, publish. And now that that is published, you see it as the little home folder here, but then you can go and click on edit with Elementor. Yep. And then 
from here you can literally just like drag stuff in it's so amazing guys so before we do that though let's jump back and I don't want this sidebar here I think I can edit that right here uh, let's go edit I'm um, sorry exit to dashboard so what we need to do first before you for this specific theme unless you want a sidebar you're gonna want to change the template to full width all right so let's do update it's probably a quicker way to do it but <laughs> this is kind of my workflow if I'm ever dealing with uh, this specific theme and Elementor so let's go ahead and back to that all right and you see you have this all right so what you're gonna want to do next here is install another plugin actually we'll install a couple of them but the first and kind of the most important one is WooCommerce. No, we don't want that. All right. Yeah. So this is the <laughs> this is the one that we want. We'll go ahead. Go ahead and get that installed. Give it a second. All right, that's installed. Let's activate it. Sorry, my computer is lagging a little bit since I'm screen recording. Okay, and another plugin because we're going to be using Printful. So we need to install the Printful plugin. Right, and this integrates directly with WooCommerce. And activate it. Okay. Um, while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and update this. Let me just go ahead and delete this one. I <laughs> this is the uh, kind of like the Hello World plugin that comes with WordPress. So let's get that out of here. All right. Um. So now that we have that set up, let's go over to Printful. Okay. So what you want to do next is configure the Printful plugin that you have um, on your site. So you'll click on Printful if you've already activated the plugin. Let me give it a second to load up here. And what this is going to do, what this is going to do is pretty much connect your WordPress installation to your Printful account. So let's go ahead and do connect. It should take you over to your Printful account if you're logged in. Let's go ahead and do approve. So we don't have any products on the site right now, but they're just syncing your WordPress site with the Printful with the Printful site. And as you can see, it's doing something here on this side as well, right? So zero orders and everything. So should be synced up. Okay. So now what we can do is add our first product. Okay. So what we want to do here, let's just say, let's do women's clothing. I know women's clothing sell a little more. All right, um, let's see. What design do we like here? It's almost fall, so maybe a maybe a sweatshirt. Let's try a sweatshirt. 
All right, let's try a sweatshirt here, guys. Um, all right, and in Printful, it'll show you the cost of the item that you want to select. So let's go. Let's go ahead with this seventeen dollars unisex crew neck sweatshirt. All right. And let's select. Okay, this is uh, your printing style is either direct uh, printing direct to garment or embroidery. It's going to cost more if you do embroidery. So let's go ahead and select our image here. I think I selected the right one. Let's see. Yep, that should be the right one. Oh, actually, I think I may have gotten the smaller one. Let's delete that. And let's select. Okay, yeah, t shirt. Yeah, you want to use as uh, large of an image for the t shirt so it's not pixelated. All right, let's choose that. And there we go. All right. All right, now you can go to mockups. So if you were to market this to females, you can actually uh, select a female to model the shirt if you want it. Let's see what else they have here. Yeah, she looked like she would have a corgi. <laughs> so let's go ahead and select her. All right, the mock-up format is, all right, JPEG. Well, actually, let's do a PNG, even though it's a bit bigger, bulkier background, but it has the transparent image. So we could use that on the site, okay? Oh, and they're just letting me know that the printful store, store is ready. So let's move this notification out of the way. Okay, um, proceed to details and what we can do here, guys, let's just copy this because this is all the details in regards to the uh, t-shirt itself. But let's say, let's call it Corgi Love. Uh, All right, so that'll be the title inside of Shopify. And we can leave the description as is, but if we need this description later, I'm gonna just go ahead and um, go ahead and save it. So let's go ahead and proceed to pricing. Um, yeah, let's just leave everything default. Uh, so the price, the retail price will be uh, 25 to $33 and this is the cost on the left. So this is how much it'll cost us. And if we marked it up to $25, our profit would be $7 and 25 cents. That's not bad. All right. So let's go ahead and leave that default. You can obviously change that if you want higher profit margins. If you want to sell your sweatshirt for a hundred bucks, go for it. I don't know how many people are going to buy it, but maybe you have an awesome design. I just kind of threw this together so you guys can see how the process works. Okay. So we're going to give that a second to update and what, what should happen once it adds the product to Shopify, it should also add it to our WordPress site. All right. So as you can see, it went ahead and added it and it should have brought it over to the WordPress site and abracadabra. Here it go. It has pushed it over to the WordPress site. All right, so you can actually go and view the product here. See? And we have our lovely model, model in our t-shirt, right? And next, what we want to do is modify, we want to modify, uh, the text in here you can um, pretty much give it a description but you definitely want to also 
make sure you have your payment information set up because you're not going to get paid if you don't connect your payment gateway. So we'll just, uh, for the sake of simplicity, we'll set up PayPal. But um, yeah, so we'll create like a, a nice little head in here. Let's, we can actually use that as a secondary. We can just have that as our leading sentence, just so it kind of customizes it a little bit. So let's go ahead and update it here. And the next thing you want to do, well, actually, before we do that, let's go over to settings. You guys may not have this set up yet, but you definitely want to have. A SSL certificate for your site and this is basically whenever someone comes you have the little lock icon so let me just go into general because I do have a SSL on my server so since I haven't added anything I can just go ahead and switch this over and once I do that it's gonna log me out and I'm gonna have to log back in so just give me one second And as you can see, the lock icon is there because I have an SSL installed. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do next is set up your payment, uh, your payment gateway for your website. Uh, initially, I was gonna show you guys how to set up PayPal, but I think it'll be a little more progressive if you guys uh, learn how to set up Stripe because that's pretty much uh, just straight credit card um, checkouts on your on your site. And they're a little better with making sure you don't get chargebacks for unnecessary stuff. So we need to go to plugins and install the Stripe plugin for WooCommerce. Totally forgot about that. So one more plugin here. Alright, so this is the stripe for WooCommerce. Uh, this is the, let me see. Yeah, this is the one you want. Always look for the one that has the, the WooCommerce logo. Alright, let's go ahead and activate that. Alright, so, yep, okay, that is activated. And let's go to settings here. And what that does, it takes you directly to your WooCommerce and then settings. So you'll need to grab this information from Stripe. So I'll show you guys how to get that information. Let's go ahead to stripe.com. And if you don't already have a Stripe account, just go ahead and create it. It's a free account, just like PayPal, but uh, obviously they charge you fees per transaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I have a Stripe account already. So let's get that information. Let me skip that. Close that. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go to this developers yeah no nope, not developers yeah all right so yeah you want to click on developers and then click on API keys and then by default I think it's going to have you in test mode so you want to click this and make sure you're in live mode so you'll get your publish key copy that We don't want to be in test mode. We want to be in live mode so people can purchase your product. All right, that's the publish key. Let's get the secret. All right. And I don't believe we need the web 
book secret. Yeah, that, the rest of it should be good to go. All right, let's go ahead and save. And what we can do is let's open an incognito screen just so, so you guys can see how the checkout flow would work. Uh, let's go to the product. Uh, okay, so all products and get to the product page. As soon as it loads up here, all right, and now we want to just go ahead and view the product. All right, so let's open this in an incognito screen here. One second. This way we're not logged in. All right, so let's just say we want to purchase a medium. Add to cart. Click on view cart. Proceed to check out. And all of this is populated via Stripe. You'll add all of your information and all of that good stuff. All right. So what we want to do next is this website is pretty trash, guys. <laughs> I'll be honest, right? It's nothing. It's nothing here that says like, oh yeah, let's go and buy something. So we need to we need to dress this up. But we had to set up the product first, so we have all the appropriate links. So in the next section, we're going to go ahead and uh, dress this up. Okay, so now we're going to set up the site and make it uh, a lot more attractive. So the first thing we need to do is a little bit of housekeeping things. We need to delete some of the default data that comes with WordPress. So let's go to post first because we're not planning on adding a blog or anything to the site. So let's delete this, you can move that to the trash, the little hello world post, because if you don't, it'll be um, picked up by like Google and it'll show in your, your website. So you don't want that. Let's go ahead and delete that permanently. All right, now let's go to pages. You want to make sure you don't touch these. These are generated by WooCommerce. So the cart page, checkout account, um, your privacy policy, that's a default page, but you can modify that based on the needs of your site but you definitely want to get rid of this sample page. Let's move that to the trash, delete it permanently. So what we want to do here for now, let's go ahead and just create a blank page. It's going to be home, the home page. And like this whole website is basically going to be a one page, one product store. And you guys can really sell if you have a, a, a good product. So let's go ahead and call it home. We're going to leave it blank, but one thing we do want to do is for the template, let's change this to full width because uh, if you don't set it as full width, you'll have that little right section that is set for your widgets, but you want to go ahead and make this full width. So let's go ahead and do publish, publish, get a better chance to update. All right, so you should have a home here. All right, so let's go ahead back to here all right let's go to settings and general I'm sorry it's actually reading so what you want to do now is set that home page as the default page for the site so let's say a static page home page should be set as home okay let's save that and now if you go to the home page after this is saved, you should see a blank page. Let's view the site. Yep, there we go. All right, we're done. <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right, so now what we can do is go ahead and click on edit since we're already on the home page. And from here, we want to click on edit with Elementor. Let's give it a second to load up. All right, so. Nice little blank home page here. So Elementor it has a lot of features, it's a lot of different things you can do. You can make some really impressive sites with it, but I'm gonna show you guys the basics. So 
pretty much everything here in the element pane can be dragged over to the actual page. This is not the pro version, so I'm gonna show you you guys everything you can do with the free version here. Uh, if so, pretty much this whole section is uh, off limits. It's locked. You can see the locks here. So everything above this and below this can be dragged over into the page. All right. And I would definitely suggest you guys go and get the pro because it's a lot of awesome features. I have a, a pro license, but I wanted to show you guys how to do this for free. Okay. So first things first, let's click on the plus here. I want to do a dual column grid. All right. So let's, let me see, I'm going to add in this first column, what you can do is go back, I'm sorry, click on the grid square here and it'll bring you back to all the stuff that you can do. So let's put a header over here. All right, we'll leave that as it is for right now. Let's add some text directly below that header. Oops, not that. Text, yeah, this is the text thing. So let me just show you guys what I did. So I accidentally dragged <laughs> the wrong text piece. That's actually a text layout. So if you don't want it, you can just click the X. And it'll get rid of it. All right, so now let's do text editor directly below it. And it should fill it with some Lorip, some placeholder text. All right, so and f over here, what we want to do is let's place an image. Okay, so what I'm thinking here, my my mindset is we could have some descriptive text, you know, saying something about the site, and then you know, an image of our model wearing our design. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think I have it here. Yeah, okay. So if we go ahead and grab the image, let's open this open image a new tab. That's an easy way of doing it, guys. It'll bring you to the image. Let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's leave it as mock up and you can go back here and if you click if you're already selected on it it should have this little window here let's go ahead and choose image select upload let's select the file to upload and then let's select the mock-up We actually could have just pulled it directly from here, guys, because this is already uploaded. But if you didn't have the image, you can go and grab it that way. All right, let's do an insert. And uh, just to <laughs> let you know, you know, uh, we didn't manually add this image. This was pulled over from Printful, right? So that's the cool thing about it. They'll actually upload files directly into your website. Okay, so let's go ahead and insert that. It looks pretty cool and we can change the text here let's say who doesn't love oops if i can spell here all right and the cool thing about elements or is like that blue text doesn't go at all so we can go to style and go to typography and we can actually um let's change the size of it first and kind of bump it up a little bit and let's see we can let's make it kind of like maybe a brownish color to try to match the corgi on the shirt not that color <laughs> let's do maybe that shade is good click off of it uh, we can change the font as well if we select here 
let's see what font looks a little better let's give it a second to load up all right so they'll give us some previews of the fonts that we can choose here let's see what that looks like ah uh, no that's a little a little too fancy let's get something that is bold but legible all right that's cool and click off of that and for the filler text we can just say So just a little little text you obviously could add a lot more you know actually let's do that <laughs> let's add more um, we'll grab some information from here yeah let's just go ahead and grab that and see how it looks in the scheme of things all right yeah that's not bad all right, let's dress it up more. Let's let's get this thing looking fancy, guys. All right, so what I want to do, I like to have my things kind of leveled out as much as possible because I, I don't like the way the text is kind of floating a little bit above her. So scoot it down some. So what you can do is, if you type in here, space, yep, spacer, you can drop a spacer directly above that. And that, that actually spaced it out perfectly but let me just show you if you move the slider you can like scoot it up scoot it down however you want so let's, let's bump it back to about right there and yeah that should be good well actually let's scoot it up a little bit because let's put a call to action button directly below it so right here should be good and next Let's add in a button. Boom. Okay. And let's say, let's call this. You can update the text of the button right here. Oh, let's just let's say buy now <laughs> instead of purchase. Okay. And let's, hmm, should we center the button? Let's see. I don't know, I think I kind of like it to the left a little bit. All right, so obviously we're not going to keep that button green. Let's make the button red to match the heart here in the sweatshirt. So that should be pretty easy to do. Maybe we don't want it to be that. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So let's bump the text up for the typography. Like literally you can you can modify anything with this plugin. Alright. And let's add a little more guys because it's not all you want to do here. Uh let's kind of play around with the background a little bit. So what you can do is this whole section is contained. This is like the container for the uh, the page. Oh, not the page for that uh, that row. So what you can do is right click it and do edit section, and then click on style. And from here you can do your background color. But let's just say hypothetically we wanted to do we wanted to do something crazy like this, right? Let's say if we wanted it that is pretty ridiculous so <laughs> let's just say we want it to uh, kind of jazz it up a little bit 
and do a nice little gradient but I think maybe we could even do a a light brown gradient that's not bad let's get it close to the color of the corgi though maybe that's a little too aggressive so yeah you can do something like that just kind of jazz it up a little bit um now that that's in place let's see if we can make this button stand out a little bit more i think we can do a shadow yeah as you see it's kind of making it look like it has uh a shadow around the button we don't <laughs> we don't want it that that crazy but yeah, let's give it a little little bit of a shadow effect all right and next what I'm going to show you because we're not just going to leave the page here we want to have a little more a little more content that we can offer on the home page so I'm gonna just go ahead and publish this this is actually publishing it to the home page now oh before we do that we need to connect this button like you don't want it to not connect to the actual uh, purchase purchase page so we have the um, the page here open this was already generated through WooCommerce let me just refresh the page here one second and I'll show you guys how to remove this don't worry about it okay um, so let's just grab the link here and do a copy and let's click on the button and then go to content and instead of that hash hash symbol you want to have an actual link that will take the people to the checkout page right all right so now let's take a look and see how this works here let's go to the home page let's see our masterpiece we're not done but <laughs> it's definitely um work in progress all right so yeah we got you know the corgi t-shirt and home and all that but the magic is now that we click on buy now it'll take us directly here so let's go ahead and uh, before we end this section let's go ahead and remove this so if we go to widgets well let's just start over if you hover over while you're logged in you can go to widgets and inside of widgets you should be able to remove this search and comment section here so basically all you want to do this comes by default so just slide it right out <laughs> literally just move it out of your way you don't have to click save or anything as soon as you slide it out it automatically update it's like a JSON well not a JSON an Ajax call to the front end all right so let's go back to the home page go through the process again see what it looks like going by now and there we go I went ahead and remove that section okay so next what we're going to do is add a little more content to I'm going to add a little more content to the, the home page um, because you want to kind of show off your product and I'm going to show you how you can get real models to model the design that you created okay and they'll actually wear the shirt you can get videos you can get something a little more elaborate than this and and we'll do that in the next section all right so if you wanted to have more content on the site and you wanted like more people to model your clothes your clothing line and you don't have access to a camera or a model for that for that matter um, you could go to this site uh, place it dot uh, dot net not dot com and what this does they'll give you some digital models that you can literally just throw your logo on and this site isn't free this is an optional step so if you want it to be completely free you can skip this this step but 
uh, I believe the price is like $14 a month for something like this, but I already have an account. So I figured I'd show you guys how to do it. So let's go to mockups. I think we're already there and I think I have it pasted in here. Let's do a crew net sweatshirt guys. Let's see what we can find. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman's um, one, but let's click on mockups and let's go from there and let's do crew net sweatshirt, move that hyphen. Let's see what comes back. It should have it over here. Okay. All right, so now we have option of models that we can use, or we could just, you know, kind of display it like this on a hanger. That's cool, but I think it's it's a little better if you had someone to actually model the t-shirt for you or whatever the garment is um, let's see which one kind of yells out to us oh that's cool let's use a guy let's use a um i mean because it's a unisex uh sweatshirt so let's show guys showing love for their corgis And as soon as it loads up, what will happen here is you'll be able to like just upload your image to the mockup and it'll uh, display it on them. And I think I can go ahead and, while this thing is loading up, I think I can go ahead and select our image here. Or maybe I need to wait. Okay, so let's do the t-shirt version. Prop it in a little bit just to make sure we get it nice and tight. I don't want to cut his ear off, but zoom in just a little bit more. Try to fill up as much space as possible. Uh, maybe too much, but I think I can scoot him over some. As you can see, guys, this computer is lagging like crazy because I'm doing this and trying to screen record at the same time. So, uh, Scoot over a little more. Okay, so let's crop it. See how it looks on this gentleman here. Oh, this guy loves his corgi, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's download this image, and what will happen as soon as you click download, they'll go, go ahead and render the mock-up. Oh, that's cool. They give us some suggestions. All right, now we can click here and download it. All right, it saved it. So now we can go back to our website here. Let's go to the home page and let's add another section. Uh, let's add another one here. Let's do another two-part section and in the first one we want to add an image and we need to upload the one we just downloaded from from place it no that's not it okay I think I actually have it here Just a second. All right, let's go ahead and insert media. Oh, that looks awesome. All right. Looks like a really nice product for anybody that loves corgis. Okay. So, and then what we'll do is just literally add maybe a little header text here. Um, let me see if we can do. What else they have that can look good over there? 
All right, let's just do header text over here. Change the font. Let's get the darker brown. I don't even know this. How you would spell corgis plural, but okay. <laughs> I'm sure it's probably not spelled like that. Uh, let's just go ahead and put a spacer. Bump it down. We'll adjust the font and the text then crappy spelling here in a few and since it's a header let's capitalize everything you know actually I think we can let's just go ahead and make it all capital alright typography let's do transform uppercase so everything is bold. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, what font do we use up here? Let's just go ahead and try to keep it as uniform as possible. We used. Russell one, all right. Let's go ahead and try to keep it as consistent as possible. And let's see if we can space this out a little bit. Okay. And I think we can probably center. Yeah, so this is just the header. And let's change the size of this header. Let's bump it up just a little bit just to fill up that space. And then we can add in some text. Well, actually, let's do a subheader. We don't need to add too much text here. All right, let's center this. And we'll make this a dark gray. Let's add another button. I think it's right here. Center, let's change it to red. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> let's change the style of the button to red. Make sure it's all the way over there. I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up a little bit, make it a little bigger, click on typography. Just 
drag it out. Oh, this big enough. All right, so it's looking pretty snazzy. Let's uh, grab the link to the product again and make sure we connect the button properly this time. all right yeah that doesn't look that looks, doesn't look bad at all so there's a few things we need to do um let's first start off by putting our logo here and we'll also get rid of this section so in order to do that we need to go into customizations all right all right so if we go back into our admin and click on a well not click but let's hover over appearance and then let's do customize we'll be able to do a few more things here to the site okay so the first thing I think we will want to do is the site identity let's go ahead and change this to publish that pretty much changed the uh, <laughs> the uh, sub header text for your site so once you do that you can go in and let's do the header let's change the header here and let's select the logo and remember we had created the logo from design Let's upload that. Yeah. Wait a second the process. Okay. Ah, uh, they want the logo to be smaller. Let's see. Let's see. Well, let's. <laughs> we can actually force them to. Uh, you take the whole logo and then we'll scale it down after the fact. Because basically the aspect ratio that we have created the logo doesn't really fit the theme exactly, but I'll show you how to get it to fit here. All right, see, um, it looks like it's uh, <laughs> pushing everything down. So if you just kind of adjust the width you could do that and you know obviously it'll be good if you had an actual logo for your company to have the text in there as well but this works this works no problem and the next thing I want to do is get rid of this header um let me just save this first publish and then we go back back again so uh, under header they used to have an option under uh, under here where you can just kind of tick this off but uh, this is going to be a little bit technical guys for this theme it's a little little crazy how they have it set up here so let me just inspect that element really quick and if you take a look you can see that section is called page header and that's the container for it so what we could easily do if we want to get rid of that whole section here let's just get rid of page header okay and that's a class so it's page hyphen header and I know I said it, it was no programming, but this isn't, you know, this is just modifying a little bit of CD, CSS. So if we go in here, additional CSS, and we do dot, paste that in, open bracket, close bracket, enter, display, 
colon none. Boom, it's gone. Then all you have to do is hit publish. And now that weird home text is gone from the page. All right, so this really, we could call it quits here, but let's um, modify your footer. So it's cool, you know, if you wanna give credit to the, uh, the owner of the, the theme, you could definitely do that. But let's go and footer bottom and you can modify this directly in the theme itself you can say copyright corgi t-shirt all right and we'll you can remove this as well but i'll uh Give credit to this theme. I use it quite a bit. All right. And that about sums it up. So let's let's see what we did here. Again, this is a very simple one page website. And uh, with your with your new knowledge of how to uh, kind of use Elementor and WooCommerce and Printful, you can see that there's a lot more that you could do, right? You could get uh, someone to do a video you could put a video of someone you know kind of modeling the, your t-shirt and you could add a lot more text you could add more pages um, actually let's let's do that we're gonna add one page here let's do your privacy policy let's add that to the footer okay so the page already exists when you uh, install WordPress so let's just go in and modify that really quick all right so it already has stuff kind of pre-filled in there but it also has some extra stuff that you want to get rid of so let's go ahead and remove all of this here let's move Let's get rid of all of this. Okay. So now once you've removed that extra data, you can go ahead and publish. Oh, publish again. All right, that page is live. Let's go ahead and click on back to the dashboard and what we're going to do is create a menu a footer menu okay so let's go to appearance and then menus and what you're going to want to do once you're there is let's just name this one footer not fodder <laughs> f-o-o-t-e-r okay and let's go ahead and create the menu. All right, and what we'll do is we should be able to view all to display all the pages. And then this is the privacy policy. We'll add this to the menu and that'll be literally the only page for this menu. You can add a lot more, but we're not gonna do that for the sake of uh, time in this video. It's already a pretty long video. So, and then you want to go ahead and select the placement of this menu as footer. So let's go ahead and save it. Let WordPress do its thing. And there we go. Your privacy policy page is right there. All right. So that pretty much concludes this video guys um, if you like this type of content please leave a comment if you have any questions or if you're stuck anywhere leave a comment um, I'm here to help you guys out don't forget please slam on the like button subscribe to this page and click the bell icon because I have some amazing stuff coming up guys 
this is a, a video that was kind of requested not directly from YouTube but from a lot of people that were interested in uh, WordPress and you know kind of doing their own e-commerce store so this should get you started and give you an idea of some of the things that you can do so again guys share this video with whoever you think is interested if you have any questions let's go ahead and start a dialogue in the comment sections I'll be replying to all the comments and I hope to see you again here soon see you later